Hi and welcome students. In this Computer Fundamentals video, I'm going to be going over choosing an internet service provider. So an internet service provider is the company that provides you internet for typically your home or business. Now I realize that if you're watching this video, chances are you already have it, but here are some good things to consider for if you move in the future or if you ever want to change your internet service provider. Um, so your internet service provider or ISP, they're only available in certain areas. So just because you see a commercial for something may or may not mean that you actually have that particular service in your or that company uh, in your area so you're going to want to make sure you research to figure out which ones are actually in your area remember your cell phone uses a different network than your home uh, network so you could actually do a Google search or any type of internet search to figure out what ISPs are available in your area. I also really recommend talking to friends, families, and neighbors uh, in your area because if you figure out maybe uh, who everyone else is using or about what their cost is at, you can maybe negotiate down the price a little bit or you can even figure out what people do or do not like about the ISPs and hopefully avoid um, having a bad experience. So just because it's the cheapest option, maybe they have really bad customer service or maybe it takes them three weeks to get out to do a service call. Who knows what the problems could be, but talking to more people will help you um, avoid those problems in the future. The next thing is your internet speed. Uh, typically internet speed is measured in Mbps, which is megabits per second, and it's broken down into two categories, download and upload. Download is typically a higher number, and that's uh, the amount of speed that you can download at a time, so that's really important for things like uh, playing online games, streaming from like Netflix and Hulu and things like that and also just downloading music and files things of that nature. Upload is a little bit less important for most people. Uh, typically most people are just kind of uploading files or folders to the cloud, things like that. You don't need a lot of internet speed for that. The only time you really need a high upload speed is if you're doing things like live streaming um, uh, where it requires you to uh, really have a live feed out to the public and so most people don't need a really high upload speed so you'll see that on most plans it'll be much cheaper so um, let's talk about the speeds that are typically provided um, if you're somebody who maybe doesn't have a lot of devices and you don't do too much on the computer whether it's email or social networking just things like that you're not streaming anything or you know using Netflix stuff like that and you don't have too many devices you could actually get a very low uh, megabit per second uh, uh, option from your ISP and so that would be kind of your cheapest option which is pretty good. Now if you are downloading music or streaming shows or downloading games and you need a, a little bit more um, power you're going to want to be in that 5 to 15 megabits per second range and see uh, if that's enough speed for you. Now if you're somebody who uses multi multiple devices and maybe you're uh, watching YouTube videos and uh, streaming a show on Netflix maybe that 15 cap is about right for you. Now if you say oh well I'm actually playing online games. Remember, online games, that's going to be a whole different um, category because you need to get information from so many places at the same time and you need it to happen instantly. You're going to want faster internet speeds. So that's going to be upwards of uh, 15 megabits per second. So usually plans, depending on where you're at, again, cities typically have higher plans, cities and suburban areas, where you can get up to maybe 150 megabits per second, maybe even a little bit more, but that's usually where they cap out. And um, those ones are typically, again, in cities and suburban areas. If you're in a rural area, at least in the United States, uh, a lot of times you're going to not quite have as many options as far as high-speed internet connections. Finally, let's talk about cost. Uh, typically, when you uh, sign up for an internet package, you will uh, have monthly fees as well as installation charges. So the installation charge is usually a one-time fee. Um, I know with mine, I think it was like 50 to $70 for them to come out and rewire and set it up. And so uh, you'll see those pretty much up front. From there, you'll be charged for um, 
monthly fees and that's usually the same every month and typically the faster connection equals more expensive as far as your monthly fees go so hopefully this video has uh, maybe uh, explored some different things to consider while you are choosing your next ISP and if this video was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions about this I can do my best to help you out in the comment section so please leave a comment below and uh, have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching